keep us moving. We're still making it okay. We can take one or two more questions. I have one. Yes, sir. Come on. Hi, uh, I'm John Florida from Q U A R T E R in the end. Uh, if you have any concerns with beavers, if you need any, I've got too many. I'll be glad to share also. Okay. Um, when I request, uh, it, it's good that you mentioned that you have this website uh, where you keep all these documents. I was asking for documents, and uh, I asked John to come to this document. He referred me to the October 2013 PF approval letter in which uh, Jeff Wright, whom I assume, assume you guys worked for since he referred to John Cohen as one of his staff, in this letter, Jeff Wright wrote, my staff has reviewed the proposal submitted for the selection of one third-party contractor to assist us in preparing the National Environmental Policy Act documentation required for the Sable Trail Transco FSC projects. We have selected Mergent Inc as the third-party contractor to work under the direct supervision and control of the commission staff for all three projects. So we have here uh, tax-paying staff have reviewed proposals submitted for selection of third-party contractors to work under tax-paying staff, and the tax-paying staff have selected this contractor. In addition, in the handbook from FERC for using third-party contractors environmental documents, it says that the, the uh, person submitting the, uh, trying to make the, the contractor, not the contractor, but the pipeline company, has to provide copies of all the proposals in response to the response to the request of proposals to FERC. And that's what this letter says they review. And it also says they have to provide a copy of the RFP itself to FERC. So FERC has all these documents. But where on your tax funded website can we find these tax staff funded reviewed documents, the RFP, the proposals from each of the companies that proposed, where can we find them? Kevin, I'd like to answer that process question. And there's, there's two things there about our website, which I appreciate you bringing up. I think afterwards, if folks are interested, we can actually put that website on, if we have Wi-Fi here, which I'm, I'm guessing we do, we can put it up on the screen and, and show folks how to follow the first project. I we mention it, we don't talk a lot about it because there's a couple steps involved and it, the internet can be challenging sometimes, so we can, we have to show you the, the steps to get on the website so you can find these documents. Uh, the question is, and it also goes to the third party contractor. I am a federal employee. I'm on staff at the commission. Kevin also works for the commission. We have a staff of about 60 in our office that work specifically on natural gas pipeline projects. On projects such as this that are 600 miles long, we use a contractor to assist us with our work. The contractor is funded by the applicant and works at our direction. The contractors are subject to a conflict of interest review conducted by the commission. Contractors, and I keep looking at Mitch because he's a contractor. Uh, we, we review proposals and select a contractor that we think can best help us complete our job. The proposals contain proprietary information, competitive information between the different contractors, so we do not release it. We have reviewed that information. Our lawyers have reviewed the conflict of interest information and found them sufficiently uh, adequate to do the work, and they will be assisting us throughout the environmental review process. So the, the documents are not available to review because of confidentiality and proprietary informational purposes. Any other process questions? Are we ready to move on? I think we're about ready to move on. We're getting a little close on time. So uh, with that, I'm going to turn things back over to Mitch. And he's